I was going for a pseudo Wednesday vibe today. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel, or if you don't seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram, and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or everything, everything's a total washout. I feel like the world, the makeup community kind of exploded when I was out on vacation. <laughs> Not only did Shane Dawson drop like two new episodes of his new series with Jeffree Star, there was a lot of like makeup drama, makeup releases. I know there was a new collab from ABH that was actually leaked before they formally announced it and then they formally announced it. So there's just, there's so much. So let's go ahead and just jump straight in first with my updates i forgot about that so while on vacation i did actually pick up a couple of different products and by different products i mean uh, natasha denona i finally picked up the little mini gold palette that i've been wanting uh -huh, and it's so cute i have not tried this out yet so i can't give you anything about this i also just picked up there's fingerprints all over this already. The new Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. This is a supposed limited edition holiday palette. So I actually dug into this for the first time this morning and I'm wearing the look right now. I used like these kind of green shades right over here and I'm actually pretty impressed and I actually really like the shimmer right here. It's like, oh, it's gorgeous. So. Uh, I will have a later video once I've actually tested this out a little bit more and I also want to rearrange the shades in here because this is as easy to depot as the other Natasha Denona palettes that I have so I really want to rearrange this and see if I can get a little bit more use out of it so those are my two new palettes I'm actually really excited for both of them also on a side note I did actually get to pick up both of the new glossy top coats from Holo Taco and I'm wearing one of them today I did just put it on for the first time last night I've got just like a flaky hollow taco and then there's the clear top coat so I'm gonna see how this works if it makes it last any longer if it helps with my nail growth but I was also able to pick both of those up there's like a super glossy taco and there's just like a glossy taco okay so before I even jump into this palette right here I have to say I actually so I went into a Sephora on my vacation that's when I picked up the Metropolis palette and I actually splurged and picked up the Metropolis palette because I looked around the store I was looking at other palettes specifically the three Norvina palettes because they are all there now I looked at all of them in person I swatched some and I could tell like from feel that they did not feel like the traditional ABH formula so I'm actually really glad I waited and did that because I've already seen so many mixed reviews on those palettes and from what I was able to see in person I don't think it's worth it I didn't want to waste a $60 I didn't want to buy a palette knowing that I would most likely just return it so even though I said I was going to try out one of the palettes to see if it does live up to the ABH formula slash hype I can already tell you it doesn't and I'm not going to waste my money and pick it up so originally I was actually going to pick up like a small the small like ABH the small Natasha Denona palette and one of the ABH ones and then I after looking at the ABH ones I was like no I don't want this <laughs> So I then went and picked up the Metropolis palette. So on the heels of that, I have to say, so it's not 100% ABH's fault that this was leaked earlier. They said it was leaked, I think it was like Dillard's or it was one of their like distributors. It was like a store that accidentally put this out and leaked it before it was supposed to come out. But that being said, this was scheduled to come out like the first or second week of October, which let's just back up here. We had three Norvina palettes released in as many weeks in September. And not only just the palettes, there's collections, there's glitters, there's lips, there's everything. And then the first week of October, you're releasing another collab. So this is the Carly Bible collab, which I have to say, I don't really watch Carly Bible. I had her first collab from BH Cosmetics, the like, the deluxe palette. And I really like that palette. I thought it was a really great palette. I mentioned it in my video about like my favorite affordable neutral eyeshadow palettes that I did as a collab with Christina Chang. I'll throw it up in the cards if you'd like to see it. But this palette... I don't want to be mean, but this is like the most boring thing I've seen. I don't like what shades they picked to be mattes versus shimmers. I don't like the packaging because it's going to get dirty. If anything, I know my ABH palettes get disgusting. 
and this is all white mostly white nothing new about this palette nothing stunning it's majority shimmer which eh, i like seeing a more neutral mix here but that is like by a shimmer there's majority shimmers over mattes and looking at the swatches like what am i gonna do with that this seems also this is the weirdest time to put this out this is october you should be coming out with spooky things like grungy green black like this why are you coming out with like this very springy palette in october not even to mention, I feel so bad for like everyone that's had an ABH collab this year because I don't think they were told about everyone else that had an ABH collab. I mean, I don't know how that works behind the scenes, but to to get an ABH collab, like that's gotta be like one of the heights. Like you're like, oh my God, I'm being recognized by such a great company. They're offering me a collab. I'm on my own palette with my name on it from Anastasia Beverly Hills only to have it overshadowed by the millions of other things that they're releasing because apparently the company isn't doing so well. I know I would be heartbroken if I made it to that level and then this happened. So I, I gotta say my heart goes out to everyone who had an ABH collab because this year has just been like shit for ABH. And to be honest, nothing... I don't know, the last thing I actually really wanted was the Alyssa Edwards palette. Yeah. Dominique Cosmetics released a sneak peek of the new eyeshadow palette for their holiday collection. Uh, to be honest, I still haven't picked up the last palette that I wanted. I think it was like that grungy, deeper, bluey, orangey kind of palette. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. <laughs> but I did see it at uh, Sephora. I just didn't pick it up because I was kind of, I went for the Natasha Denona instead. But I am keeping my eyes on that one and that's gonna be my first product from Domini Cosmetics. So Jeffree Star Cosmetics is coming out with some new mystery boxes for Halloween. While I appreciate- As I was saying, I, while I appreciate the sentiment of actually having a Halloween release and like the packaging is nice, I'm not buying from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, so I would not get this. Even if you do buy from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, I would not recommend these. I have heard from a lot of videos and from a lot of people that basically these mystery boxes are just a way to get rid of like old stock and things nobody wants to buy. And so they end up kind of being trash. These might be different, I don't know. I'll see if anyone who I'm subscribed to does a video on these, but I'm not going to be purchasing these. Speaking of Jeffree Star, I, I was kind of surprised that like Shane Dawson released two episodes while I was out on vacation because I felt like so much just went right over my head and I didn't want to watch them when I was on vacation because of course it was for me and my boyfriend and we were having a nice time. So I watched them both like back to back last night when I got home. <laughs> so while I... I'm still like not a fan of Jeffrey like I can't support him and still morally hold the opinions on other influencers and the things that they have done I'm iffy on Shane like mm, I think he's been doing some decent things lately but like overall I'm like really on the fence about whether or not like I fully support him like I'm not I've not bought any of his merch or anything but I have watched some of the recent videos. I did not watch anything he did of Jake Paul because that was garbage. I did not want to support that at all or watch that at all. So I did not watch that. But I did watch the original Jeffree Star series and I am going to continue watching this new one because while I don't support Jeffree, I think that this series is actually going to teach us a lot about the industry and it is going to have a huge impact. Do I think that they're doing this out of the kindness of their hearts? No. I know that this is going to be huge for them. They're going to make so much money off of this. And of course, Jeffrey, by releasing these small tidbits of industry information that no one else has done before, of course, he's doing it to make himself look better. Like, I'm not naive. I understand that. But it is still information. And I am still going to continue to watch that. So I don't know if you guys will want to see a video on my, like, opinions after the series is over or maybe after an episode. I know Smokey Glow did an excellent wrap-up of the first two episodes. I would highly recommend that because she really just summed up most of my opinions, like, perfectly. Yeah, so that being said, I'm not buying from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I wouldn't recommend these mystery boxes because from what I've heard, they're not good. So I don't even know really what to say here. I can't believe, I mean, at this point, can I? 
Uh, ColourPop is coming out with yet another collection with Disney. And to be honest, it's just meh. Like, they honestly, like, if you had shown me these and not tell, not told me, like, which collection was which, I could not tell them apart. I really couldn't. Like, they look so similar. And I think what's drawing people in is, like, the beautiful artwork because the packaging is gorgeous. I gotta admit that. But if you look at the actual products... Like, you can just take a screenshot and print out the photo if you want that. But, like, the, the... I will say, the ColourPop release that I was actually so upset that I missed, because it did happen again when I was on vacation, was actually the Sophia Nygaard and ColourPop collection. Because she did hint that she was working with a company to come out with, like, a retail version of her Franken lipstick, which I was really looking forward to. I thought maybe she was going to kind of have her own thing come out. I didn't know what company she was working with, but ColourPop actually does make a lot of sense in this instance, because they were looking for something that would be affordable for everyone who really wanted to get, like, basically that lipstick. And so this collab, I am 100% on on for. Like, I, I wanted to buy the full collection, but unfortunately, by the time I got home, sold out. Most of the shades are sold out. So I know for a fact ColourPop is going to bring this back. Like, they'd be stupid not to. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if these become permanent collections. Looking at the shades themselves, I'm pretty sure I have most of them in bullet lipstick form, but I really support this collab. I really appreciate the fact that they took the time to work on this and come out with, like, something everyone actually wanted. This doesn't feel like a cash grab. This feels like a product that was in limited supply that they actually gave away. Like I did enter the giveaway for this lipstick, the Franken lipstick that they came up with. They did this twice, like one of Sephora lipsticks and one of drugstore lipsticks. So the fact that after doing the giveaway, after seeing so many people wanted these lipsticks, they actually took the time to come out with a product. Like this, it fits, <laughs> it makes sense. I really appreciate this. So I actually, I wanna get the full set. Um, I think the ones I'd be most likely to wear are probably, like, the Nudes, Bikini Bottom, and Mrs. Norris. Mrs. Morris, excuse me. <laughs> Not Harry Potter. Um, and then Bury Me in Lipsticks, which I believe is the Franken Lipstick shade. And then Fred, which is just, I think, another Franken Lipstick shade? Which is why it's called Fred, Frank and Red, right? I think so. But I want the whole collection, so I'm not going to buy them individually. I'm going to wait for this collection to actually come back in stock, and then I'm going to buy just, like, the box. Because this, I think, was a perfect collab. And the fact, the sad thing is it just got buried under everything else that ColourPop is doing. <laughs> like, chill. Chill. Well, hello. It is your friend editing Monica here, and you know what ColourPop did not do? If you guessed chill, that is the correct answer. But however, they came out with something that I actually really want. They came out with this. This is like the dark, grungy, smoky palette of my dreams. It looks like a really good dupe for the palette from Lime Grime that I still have not picked up yet. And I'm thinking I'm gonna get this one instead because it's $12. I mean, with the amount of stuff ColourPop comes out with, it's some of them have to like turn out decent right just the amount of stuff they're throwing at the wall like some stuff sticks like the lipsticks and this palette okay back to your regularly scheduled be wow so i see that we have some holiday releases from fenty now and these look adorable i am a sucker for minis I love minis, especially mini lip products. So they're coming out with the Glossy Posse, which is like five mini shades of the Gloss Bomb, which I still have the first Gloss Bomb and I haven't really used it that much, so I, I don't think I need any more of that. There's a little mini um, highlighter that they're coming out with, I think in three shades, so you can get different shades. Um, they're coming out with a mini of, I think, the Body Lava, which uh, that's not a product that I would ever use. <laughs> like I'm not gonna reach for it. Um, but they're also coming out with a new mini lip stunner in a new burgundy shade in a cute little ornament thing. And that kind of seems right up my alley. It looks adorable. And I love that formula. So I'll probably get that mini lip stunner. We'll, we'll see. Okay, so what does anyone else think about this? I think it's a bit odd. Um, so apparently Trend Mood, like the actual person in the account, is coming out with their own, like, box and it's not a subscription like i read this you have to buy each box individually it's not a subscription that you sign up for and you get boxes every now and then um 
According to the description, um, each box will be different with a mix of the hottest in makeup and beauty that can include sneak peeks of never released products, products from our favorite brands, special launches, accessories, and more. It's like we already have plenty of subscriptions and for Trend Mood to do, I don't know. I was a bit put off by this, to be honest. This kind of seems like a cash grab, like as opposed to like a well thought out, well executed thoughtful collab this seems like a cash grab and the fact that she actually had to say like i'm not just giving away my pr guys it's gonna be an actual box like because that's what first that's what people first thought and they're not too far you know off base to think that yeah i don't know i think it's gonna be overpriced i think it's gonna be overhyped i'm i'm sitting out of this one. Ooh, so i think i mentioned this honestly can't remember but um, it is now available. This is the big ultimate Mudu Mudu butter collection from Physicians Formula. It's $40 and it has like, it's like a big box of like all the butter formula things. So it's like a whole thing of blushes, a whole thing of bronzers, a whole thing of highlighters, and then eyeshadows. I haven't actually tried the eyeshadows out yet. I've tried one of the blushes and didn't like it, but I didn't really try anything after that. I got one of the highlighters and liked it, but they were so fragile they broke, which is kind of... Like, I want to try this product out. I think it'd be a great way to do, like, a full face of Physicians Formula stuff, but I know that these products are fragile, so I'm, I'm t hesitant to buy it online, but I think it's only available online. So I want to get this. It seems like a good price for how much product you're getting, because I did pan a full butter bronzer and it took me months it took me a long time and it's a great bronzer so I really do like that bronzer so I want to get this but like I said hesitant about chipping <laughs> but I think it should be fine right right okay so the highly highly <laughs> so the Kylie 2019 holiday collection came out and dead ass I looked at this and thought it was a re-release of another collection none of this looks different nothing <laughs> The palette, I, must, I swear, I thought this was like the the Valentine's palette, was it? That face palette, I swear to God, I've seen it before. And then the lipsticks, like, nah, I feel like now with Kylie, we're just seeing like the same shit being regurgitated like every other month. So speaking of regurgitating shit every now and then, apparently the ABH Amorese highlighter came back in stock at Dillard's, which I think that's the place that leaked the Carly Bible collab. But apparently it restocked and came back for a limited time only. Um, I I seen the highlighter. It's like, eh, I wouldn't go out of my way to pick it up. I have not picked it up. But apparently there's some drama because like Norvina commented on this and said like, wait, what? We didn't restock the highlighter. So like, where do they get the highlighters from? Do they like legitimately like hold on to a stock of them to re-release them at a later time? So they would, they would be the exclusive place to still get it? Hmm. Oh, well. That being said, I do think that highlighter was overhyped. So I am just obsessed with, like, the packaging and the shadows of these palettes. These are eyeshadow palettes from Ditto Cosmetics. Is that D it's D-I-T-O Cosmetics, yeah. And they, like, oh, I love the marbling inside some of the shades. Like, the Earth shade looks like Earth and, like, Jupiter and... I would keep, like, these are things that I would buy and legitimately, like, put on display and, like, not use. Because <laughs> I love space and they're so pretty, but I I can't buy things that I'm not going to use. I need to not be in that mind frame or that mindset. So I am just going to save the picture, look at it every now and then. But even though they are more affordable than most, I, I wouldn't buy them because I know I probably wouldn't use them. So I did want to give a quick update on the Hourglass, the new holiday palette. So... I was on the fence about this palette and I wanted to see it in store. So I finally saw it in store last week and you know what? It looks really dark in pictures, but I can actually use every shade in this palette. I swatched all the shades out. They're usable on my pale ass skin tone. So I don't think, again, this isn't going to be useful for a lot of skin tones and I think it is too similar to what I already have considering I still had well, I had two of the holiday palettes from last year. I did declutter one of them to a friend of mine. So I still have last year's Unlocked palette, which works well for me. And I don't need any other Hourglass palettes until I actually, like, hit at least hit pan in one of those, which I have not. 
So I was a bit disappointed because I did see that it did look darker online. And I thought, oh, maybe they're going for a more medium to deep skin tone here. No, I can use every shade. I wonder how long it's going to be before like they come out with multiple palettes or multiple skin tones. Like I feel like that's shitty of them to not do that, especially because they came out with two palettes last year. So we know they can come out with more than one palette for the holiday season, right? So why not just... <sighs> All right, and to be honest, nothing else that I'm glancing over is saying anything to me. Let's take a quick look at uh, Indie Makeup Spotlight. Let's see. So I saw this palette get like slowly released, which that kind of bugs me, you know, when they only show like one shade at a time or one row at a time. I think it's kind of annoying a bit. Uh, overall, the shadow, I mean, it's a cute palette. It's definitely warm with a pop of green, which as much as I like that better than the warm with a pop of blue, it's still the blank with a pop of blank, right? So it's a decent palette. It's $35. Eh, I'm not going to rush for it. This palette actually caught my eye, which surprised me because these aren't really shades that I lean towards because they're like purpley, but I, th I think it's just like that salmon color and then maybe that green shimmer that's pulling me in. This is from OMFG Cosmetics. It's just the reveal, so we don't know the price or anything. I've never heard of this brand before. Have you ever heard of that brand or have I gotten anything from it? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, and last but certainly not least, this is actually something from Makeup Geek Cosmetics that like... I wanted to get, but like reevaluating this, really looking at it, I don't need this. This is a new bundle of like singles. Um, it's $19.99 for one for nine shades. I had to count. <laughs> um, but the sh the pumpkin patch one, I kind of wish like that middle row had been or the middle column had instead been like oranges. That would have been just like mwah, like I would have gotten it then. But I know I'm only attracted to this because of the greens. If I cover up the greens, it's just a neutral palette. But I am interested to see that, like, Makeup Geek is starting to come out with some new things. I'm excited to see where Makeup Geek is going to go from here. Like, I want to see more. I want to test out different things. All right, so that's everything for today. Let me know down below what you thought, like always. And also, let me know what you think of the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star new episode because there is going to be a new one I think coming out the day before this is posted this is going to be on Wednesday I think the new episode comes out on Tuesday so also let me know your thoughts on that new episode down below and I cannot wait to see you in my next video happy spoopy season <laughs> I'm having way too much fun like it's actually starting to feel like fall and I'm like I'm here for it yes <laughs>